What's happening? It's your man Big Take doing big things. Y'all know what it is. ATL Hawks official DJ and Rap City forever. You're checking out the Three Point Conversion Radio. You dig? third quarter for you guys what did y'all do in that third that allowed you guys to to pull away like you did we established our defense you know I, I was really uh happy with the way we established our defense in the first quarter uh at the third quarter uh did a good job helped them to a 23 uh in that first and 24 in the third and um you know that's what we need to do establish our defense rebound the basketball we was able to get out into transition uh we had a good ball movement uh, but I thought our guys were solid uh, really all night long. What did you see from DeAndre Hunter? He had 16 in that third. It just seemed like he kind of settled down throughout the night. I thought he stayed with it. You know, he missed a couple uh, open looks in that first uh, first half. And, you know, what we've talked about with our guys, don't worry about uh, the first half when you, uh, you miss a shot or two. Uh, find a way to get that rhythm. And he stayed with it. Uh, he was able to uh, get an easy basket. And he knocked down uh, the rest of his shots. Uh, so a good job of uh, just staying with it. I thought defensively he did a real solid job on Bridges. Uh, you know, he was a key uh, guy that we wanted to, uh, we needed to contain and keep the ball uh, in front of us. But uh, I thought it was a solid team effort by all of our guys uh, defending the paint, uh, you know, getting back in transition and making them score over the top. Nate, when that when Trey was struggling from the floor early in the first quarter, it seems like he was taking advantage of the double team by getting his teammates involved. Is that what you saw as well? Exactly. I thought he did a real solid job of getting off the ball when uh, they put two on him and he got his teammates involved. Uh, you know, I thought later in the game uh, they went away from that and uh, he was able to uh, get loose and, and, and get some looks at the basket, but real solid job by Trey of running the team, managing, uh, you know, those guys on the offensive end of the floor and really getting us organized and attacking, uh, you know, their defense, their changing defenses that they uh, play. With He stayed with it, you know. Uh, he had some open looks in the first half uh, that didn't fall for him, and uh, uh, the second half he remained aggressive. Uh, he, I thought he uh, got an easy basket going to, going to the basket, and then um, he started to knock down his shots, you know. So he was getting good looks because Trey was. Uh, we was, we had really good ball movement uh, against their traps and and their zones, and uh, we had guys that uh, were getting good looks and. Uh, the ball started to fall for DeAndre. Um, with Clint specifically, what did you like about how he was establishing the defense for you guys? Just the anchor, the anchor um, of our defense. You know, he had two, there was really two coverages uh, for Clint uh, tonight. You know, when Plumlee was out there, uh, he had to really guard the paint. But when Washington was uh, in the game at the five, he had to guard the perimeter and the three-point shooting uh, ability of, of Washington. So I thought he really did a solid job of being the anchor, defending the basket, uh, as well as rebounding the ball for us. Nate, with Cleveland essentially getting an extra day of rest, how big was it to finish this game like you did and to be able to pull your starters as early as you were? Always important. Uh, you know, the coaches was yelling at me, screaming at me to, uh, <laughs> to get the guys out. And, uh, and, you know, so that we could uh, get them uh, a rest in. But, you know, uh, you know, it's time to play. You know, it's game time. And uh, our guys, uh, we should be ready uh, when we go to Cleveland. On Zoom, we'll go to David. Hi, Coach. David from Italy here. Um, congrats for the win. Um, Thank you. Looking at the Cleveland game, what do you think, what kind of lesson do you think you guys can use in that game? that you, you did so well in this one? Our game against Cleveland? Well, you know, we there's a possibility that Allen uh, may come back and play. Uh, that will uh, pose a challenge because of their size. Uh, you know, that's a big lineup uh, with Uh, both uh, Allen and, and uh, Mobley. We've seen, I think we've seen those guys all together maybe once or twice this season. Uh, uh, I think a couple of our games, Mobley uh, didn't play in. Uh, uh, one of them, I think Allen uh, missed the game. So uh, 
we don't know if he'll be back on Friday, but size factor, um, you know, they do a good job of, uh, you know, taking advantage of their size, their ability to, uh, you know, pound you in the paint uh, with uh, post-ups, uh, rebounding, and, uh, you know, just a lot of length. You know, Garland is, is, is an all-star, you know, playing great basketball, uh, you know, for them. So, I mean, they, they are a really good team. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll have our work cut out uh, uh, for us on Friday. Next question goes to Leonardo Torres. Hi, Coach. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on your win. Coach, 31 assists tonight. How critical will it be to move the ball like that to beat the Cavaliers on Friday? Well, you know, I think it's really important that we have uh, good ball movement. You know, we talked about the beginning of the game. Uh, you know, teams are going to be able to defend your first and your se second option. And uh, what we wanted to do was get to our third, fourth, fifth option uh, and make them defend. Uh, normally, when you uh, get to your third and your fourth option, you're going to get a pretty de decent look. And uh, I thought we were patient tonight with that good ball movement and not just settling, uh, you know, for the first you know, a uh, quick shot uh, when they double team their zone. Uh, we did a good job of attacking the gaps and looking for the kickouts. And we had, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, practice shots in the sense of, uh, you know, you're drawing and you're kicking. And, uh, you know, when we have our feet set uh, and we're getting kickouts like that, we shoot a high percentage. that third quarter? Uh, we knew that uh, using the third quarter, this is, this is when teams trying to get back at us. So we knew that we had to be the aggressor uh, to start the first five minutes. Uh, so we were able to, to keep on producing and, and keep getting stops and scoring on the other end. What did you like about the way you guys were able to defend this team? Obviously, Charlotte's a team that can score in bunches. Yeah, so we knew that we had to take, take care of the ball uh, on offense. And uh, we knew that whenever uh, our shot was going up to, to really get back to it. And uh, we were, I felt like we were able from the, the first minute of the game to, to, to force that team uh, playing a half court. So it was, uh, it was good. But you told me yesterday, you gave your team a four out of 10 in the regular season when it came to defensive intensity. What was it tonight? And how did you guys feed off that? And create easy offensive positions. Yeah, no, definitely uh, tonight, definitely uh, eight, eight plus uh, because we were really able to, to force the team from the first minute of the game playing half court. And uh, this is not this is not what they're trying to do. It's really a team that's trying to push and and uh, look for easy layup or open threes. Uh, so we were able to to do that and, and sustain that. So uh, that that made a, a huge difference. What did you see as the difference for DeAndre in that third quarter? No, uh, you just uh, you really came aggressive. Uh, uh, I remember just always attacking, uh, making shots, knocking it down. Uh, this this is what we need. This is the kind of aggressivity that that, that we need, especially especially when uh, in the third quarter, in the third quarter when we have the lead, we're trying to stay aggressive and, and not and not start being passive on offense either. As a follow up, how important is it when when Trey is being guarded the way he was in that first half, and obviously they're trying to get the ball out of his hands for the other guys to step up and, and make those shots. Yeah, no, it was really, it was really important. We were prepared. We knew that, uh, that they were trying to, they were, that they were going to throw stuff at us, uh, like zone, like, or going trade, trapping him. Uh, so just had to be ready to step up uh, for me, like finish at the rim or find place for other guys. And, and we were ready to do that. I was curious what you thought of the, of the play in game experience. Um, one and done. If you lose, win and move on. I mean, it's exciting. I mean, when you're at home, uh, uh, it was really exciting. Uh, I felt the energy, and uh, we, we were all excited also about it. Uh, we took care of business. Uh, our defense definitely was, uh, was way better in the playing than regular season, so uh, hopefully we can, uh, we, can, we can keep going this way. With Cleveland essentially getting an extra day of rest from, from you guys, how crucial do you think it was that you guys as starters were able to get some extra rest on the bench and with having such a big lead? Yeah, I mean, uh, we had we had two days off before that game too, so uh, we were able to, to get prepared and get our rest. We're ready to go now. Uh, obviously, uh, tonight we, we try to take our business early. Uh, that's, that's, that's our goal, like to, to, to finish it early and, and 
try to get uh, the whole team on the court. So. First question on Zoom goes to Christo Saltos. Hey, Clint. Congratulations on the win. Great game, first of all. Uh, win that game in dominant fashion, the most crucial game of the season for you until the next one. What does it mean that uh, that effort, the 48-minute effort for you, and how confident you are personally that you guys gonna take, gonna carry over the momentum for the game against the Cavaliers? I mean, we're just coming in like trying to be aggressive. Uh, we knew that playing like we didn't want to end it tonight. We knew that we had to be aggressive at home. Uh, that energy, uh, we have that energy that that bursts from the first couple minutes. So uh, this is something that we're gonna have to carry to the next game. Uh, I've been watching games. I know that uh, games away, especially uh, in Cleveland, is going to be it's going to be a good one. Uh, it's going to be packed. It's going to be loud. Uh, we're going to have to keep our composure and uh, and uh, I mean, go right at it. That's how you do it. Next question goes to JC. Hey, Clint. Um, moving forward, if there is an area that you feel the team needs to improve, what would that be? And also, in the next couple games what do you feel is the most challenging part at this point uh I think that uh we do a good job at it tonight but whenever we get the lead sometimes we we start we start like like coach said we start uh yeah like uh being passive uh effing with the game that's how you say it so uh just sustain that lead whenever we have a lead not get too excited uh make sure we, we take over that control of the game and uh, this is this is we, we did a good job at it tonight, and uh, especially on the road, just make sure that we keep on composure defensively. We know that it's going to be loud. They're going to make crazy shots. Uh, just keep playing our game, and uh, this is this is how you get it on the road. Clint, you said your defense was way better tonight than during the regular season. Why was it way better? What did you guys do different? I mean, overall in our season. Uh, when there's a team that's below 20th defensively, it's not good, I think. Uh, tonight, I mean, it's one game. Uh, this team scored 103 points. I know that in the season, they scored 115 a game. So uh, this is this is a, a great defensive game tonight. I mean, we're definitely more aggressive. And like I said, from, from the first minutes of the game, we forced that team playing half court. And this is not what they want. Uh, they're really trying to uh, get on fast break and get get quick buckets. And uh, we didn't we didn't give them tonight. Uh, we didn't give that tonight because they only scored six points on fast break. So, thank you. Hey Gallo, what made the difference for you guys in the third quarter to to turn the tide and and take control of this game the way y'all did? Uh, we we're getting stops, a lot of stops in a row, and then being able to uh, run the fast break and score offensively. But like I said, our defense was the key. What did you see from Clint tonight? It seemed like he was just so dominant anchoring y'all. It was everywhere, and that's that's what we 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 know that he can do that every single night, and so that you know when. When our defense breaks down or whatever happens, we know that he's, he got our back and he can dominate the pain. With the way you guys were moving the ball, what did you notice about it? Did it feel like you guys were able to get the, the looks that you wanted, particularly from three? Yeah, we were just like you said, we were moving the ball uh, um, almost every action, uh, finding the right guy at the right moment with the right spacing. Uh, we had a very good uh, rhythm going on. You mentioned the third <clears throat> quarter with respect to defense, but on offense, I think you scored on 20 out of 24 possessions and they came out in that zone or box and one kind of look. What did you do to get them out of that? Um, we, I thought we prepared the game very well. Uh, our game plan uh, offensively was and defensively, of, co of course, was very good. Uh, we knew that uh, they play a lot of different uh, defenses during the game, uh, but we, I thought we did a good job. Whenever they changed uh, their defense, we were able to. Um, uh, to play against it and be effective. Who got the wine tonight? Uh, not me, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, but I got some bottles at home, so I'll drink it anyway. Can you share who, who got the, the wine? Uh, CC. He didn't tell you guys? Oh, <laughs> so selfish guy. First question on Zoom goes to Maria. Hi, Gallo. Hope you're well and congrats for the win. 
Um, how would you describe the way in which the team played tonight? And also thinking about the Cavs, what do you think are going to be the challenges when facing them? Um, I thought, you know, like we said, tonight was a very good night offensively and defensively. I thought we played pretty good for the whole, the whole game, for the whole 48 minutes. Um, as far as Cleveland, we... Uh, we know, you know, we, we know the, the team pretty well. Of course, uh, we're going to prepare tomorrow and the day after tomorrow for the game. Uh, they have uh, a lot of weapons for, for sure. I don't know if they're going to have some of the guys that are coming back. I don't know, but they definitely have a, uh, a deep team. Um, and, you know, it's, it's going to be, especially in Cleveland, it's going to be a tough game. Next question goes to Davide. Ciao Danilo, congrats for the win. Um, looking at Cleveland, uh, um, how much important is for you guys to uh, have been on this stage before? Um, I mean, I think is you know it's uh, it's it's very important for for us for the season that that, that we had, and this you know clutch time is the time where uh, you need to uh, uh, play at the highest level. Uh, I thought that we did it tonight but of course uh, the job is not is not done we can be satisfied and uh, we already got to think about uh, Cleveland and and be ready in a couple of days next question goes to Cristo Saltos hey Gallo congrats on the win first of all uh, going into the the most crucial game of the season against the Cavaliers for you how big how big confidence booster for you is that win that uh, that performance overall tonight uh, is is great, uh, great confidence. So we, but I had no doubts that you know we have a lot of confidence in 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 the team. Uh, we have a lot of you know guys that you know th they know what, what they can do, what they can bring. Uh, uh, I thought you know they they did a good uh, great job uh, last year, so they had a they have a little more uh, experience now, and so uh, I'm sure that we'll be we'll be ready for uh, the next game. Final Zoom question goes to Leonardo Torres. Hi, Gallo. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on your win. Gallo, last season you learned how to solve some games on the road. Uh, what will be the most important thing to get one more this Friday against Cavaliers in Cleveland? Um, I think just like we did tonight to play for 48 minutes. Um, uh, when, when you play on the road, um, there's going to be some, you know, lead changes and and the game is not going to go your way though every every time but if you stick with it and you stay there and you play with the right intensity and you play the right way for uh for 40 minutes i think that we're going to have a good chance to win the game last one we'll go to simone uh hey danilo uh, what does it mean for you actually for you personally to make uh, another postseason in your career uh it feels great uh it feels great and this is the 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 time that we all love to play basketball is uh is the time that you know we play the whole season just to get to this point and and make you know make something happen uh and so i i love this you know this moment of the season um i'm sure that everybody everybody else loves it um and you know you play games with different intensity and it's just a, a great time for basketball like there was one play tonight where you kind of turned the corner and you're 22 feet from the rim with just space completely in front of you. Did you take off from the dotted line? Uh, I don't know. I just didn't see anybody. Uh, probably uh, just like everybody at the arena, nobody thought that I could still jump and dunk. Uh, but I did. So uh, it was uh, it was uh, it was a good play. Uh, but that's you know that's a play that we. Uh, we've been running a lot and it's been pretty effect effective. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm glad that we, you know, we were, uh, I was able to uh, score. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, Trey. Uh, what allowed you guys to, to dominate so much in that third quarter and really kind of turn the, turn the tide? Um, really, we just played hard. We played, uh, played fast. Um, 
I mean, guys were just aggressive. Uh, they were doubling early in the, the first half. And then uh, second half, they were kind of a little bit softer in the, the traps and stuff like that. So we were able to get into some creases and some gaps and, and make some plays. What did you see from DeAndre Hunter? 16 points in that third quarter alone. Um, but it seemed like he kind of settled in throughout the night. What did, what did you see from him? Uh, I mean, yeah, he was playing aggressive. I mean, that's the type of aggressiveness we need from Dre. Uh, I mean, making plays, uh, getting to the basket, getting in ones. Uh, and then Garden, I mean, he got uh, Miles frustrated. I mean, playing hard. Uh, it was a, a great all-around game from Dre. That third quarter, it looked like you, I think it was 20 out of 24 possessions you scored on. And Charlotte came out with like that zone box and one kind of look. What did you do to get them out of it? You got to attack it. I mean, if teams are going to um, face guard me or uh, trap me, it's, it's, it's my job to make the right play. And, and then it's my teammates job is to, to finish and make the aggressive play and, and stay aggressive when they get it. So um, that's really what we did in the first half. They were trapping and we were throwing, I was throwing it to Clint and uh, I was throwing it to Kevin and then they were making the right play and everybody was just aggressive. And then when you do that, it's, it's hard for a team to stay like that, especially with our shooters. Uh, knocking down threes, it, it uh, makes it tough for him. Have you come to embrace the way that Charlotte, you know, was guarding you in that first half when they're obviously trying to get the ball out of your hands? Yeah, I mean, I had to. Uh, I had to embrace it. Um, obviously, it's not always fun because I don't get to play basketball all the time, but it's it's uh, it's it's great. I mean, for my team, um, anytime somebody can uh, be out there and make two guys guard you, it it, uh, it only opens up the, this floor for everybody else. So, uh, I mean, I have to embrace it. Do you feel like when the your guys are, are making those open shots that it kind of also lessens the burden on yourself to, you know, see less of the, the double teams? For sure. I mean, that's just how, that's how uh, the game is. Whenever, um, I mean, obviously they're, they're trapping me and uh, forcing me to, to make my teammates make plays. And um, I have trust in my teammates, so I have to get the ball out and get it to them. And um, when they're making plays, they got to get out of it because uh, my teammates can get hot. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's scary whenever they do. Had a little bit of NCAA tournament feel, you know, a survive in advance, lose and go home. Yeah. What did you think of the first ever playing game? Uh, I mean, it was my second NCAA tournament type game. Uh, so it was uh, something new, uh, a one and done type situation. Um, but uh, it was good, though. It was good. And um, I'm glad we, we came out and took care of business. Trey, uh, Gal. I said this is a time of year that you guys love to play basketball. Mm -hmm. what, what is it about the postseason that get, kind of gets you guys fired up? Um, I mean, I think the energy, I think the energy in the building, I think the energy prior um, and then just, I mean, just being in this position and then wanting to get into the playoffs is, uh, is definitely lights a fire in us. And um, I mean, just the energy from the crowd, we, we definitely feed off that. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, I mean, it's a, obviously it's, it was zero, zero as a new season now, but, um, I mean, not necessarily mentally, I think it's, it's just a new, new season for us. And so, um, we just got to take it one game at a time and take care of business in Cleveland. You mentioned, uh, DeAndre getting miles frustrated. What little things did you see that was frustrating miles and that one play in particular where he fouled him and got the technical and was ejected. What did you see there? Uh, I mean, I didn't, I didn't necessarily see what uh, got on the first take. I saw a guy on the second, but uh, I mean, Dre was just being physical. And I mean, it was the rest were letting some things go and calling some things. So it was uh, obviously, it, I, I could have got frustrated and same thing, um, some of the things. So it was, um, it was more just how, how physical Dre was and, um, how good he played on, on both ends. Final question on Zoom goes to Terrell Thomas. Trey, congratulations, of course, on a big win this evening. Uh, Friday night won't be an easy game against Cleveland. Can you talk to me about that upcoming matchup and what you guys expect? Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be an easy game. We're going up to, uh, I mean, a uh, city and a, a team that's been playing really well all year. And uh, we just got to be – we gotta be ready to play, and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun atmosphere, fun fun game for us, and um, uh, but we'll be ready.
if I can follow up really quickly, it was a great atmosphere tonight in the building. You spoke about the playoff atmosphere and how you've been waiting to get back here. A lot of stars in the building, Jay-Z, Nelly. What did you think about the atmosphere tonight? Uh, it was crazy. I mean, everybody else in the building, there's always a lot of people that show up and things like that. But um, Hove in the building, that was pretty cool. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's fun putting on a show and then coming out with the win is the most important thing now. Thank you, Trey. Hey, DeAndre, um, three points at halftime, but then 16 in the third quarter alone. What helped you really get going in that third quarter? <clears throat> uh, I mean, I had some open looks. Uh, Trey found me on a few cuts. Uh, and overall, I was just being aggressive. Just, you know, I wasn't making my jumpers. So I have time. I just like, I'm going to take the basket. What did you notice about just with the way you guys were moving, moving the ball? What did you notice about how that sort of opened up shots for, for everybody? I mean, we've been preaching that forever uh, just to get ball movement. Uh, we have a lot of shooters, a lot of guys who can score uh, from everywhere on the court. So uh, the more we move the ball, I think it makes uh, the other team have to work more. And like I said, we have a lot of guys who can score. What did you notice or what did you guys do defensively? This is obviously a team that can, you know, really shoot well and also is, excels in transition, but y'all were able to limit them in that tonight. What did you guys do defensively in order to, to pull that off? I mean, it actually started with turnovers because uh, that's usually when they score turnovers, you know, they're on the break. That's when they're having fun, you know, they're in the game, they're hitting threes, they're making dunks and stuff like that. So uh, we just tried to take that out of the game and I thought we did a pretty good job of that. One eight of your last 10, you win by nearly 30 tonight. You kind of have that vibe again, like, you know, nobody wants to play the Hawks in the playoffs. Here we go again. I mean, that's that's every game. That's not just because we won eight out of 10, but um, we're definitely confident right now. And I mean, we still have, have a lot more work to do, so we're not satisfied yet. Dre, a lot of us have talked tonight about this play in tournament, the one and done. Uh, you, sir, know probably better than anybody. The highs and lows of that. Did it have that kind of a feel to you tonight? Yeah, I was actually talking to one of my coaches before the game, and I'm like, this is basically, you know, NCAA, but just in the NBA. But um, it was fun. Uh, just one game elimination. It was cool, but I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't. We won, so I'm, you know, I'm feeling good about it, but I don't know. It's tough. Tell how frustrated Miles Bridges was getting out there. I mean, yeah, yeah, I could tell. Uh, he was talking to the ref a lot, um, you know, talking about calls and things like that. So anytime you hear that or see that, um, you know you the player is a little frustrated with the game. On Zoom, we'll go to Cristo Saltos. Hey, Drew, great game, great win. The third quarter for you was pretty impressive. You put up a great, uh, great show. So how important for you is to take that momentum from your, from your performance going into the most crucial game of the season for your team? Uh, it's big. Uh, I think I'm a big part of this team. I mean, I know I'm a big part of this team. So uh, me being aggressive and, you know, me scoring and defending uh, helps the team a lot. So I look look forward to doing that next game and, you know, every game after that. Next question goes to Maria. Hi, Andre. Congrats for the win. What are those key aspects from tonight's game that you can take away for the next game against the Cavs? Uh, I liked our composure. Uh, no matter what kind of run they made, uh, whatever they cut the deficit to, uh, we stayed calm, we stayed composed, and you know we stick we stuck to the game plan. I feel like we can do that. Um, share the ball, we'll be good. On that same perspective and note, how important would it be not only to be, I mean, game plan prepared, but also mentally prepared for that game? One more time. How important would it be not only to be, I mean, prepare in terms of basketball wise, but also thinking about the mental aspect of the game? I mean, mental is probably, you know, more than physical. Uh, if you could think better than the next player, you'll probably have an advantage. So uh, no matter how your body's feeling or, you know, who you're going against, the size of the team or whatever, as long as you're mentally locked in, you know, mentally ready for that opponent, uh, you'll be good. Next question goes to Jamila Johnson. Hey, DeAndre. I saw that you uh, you were able to shake Jay-Z's hand there during the game. What was it like uh, just kind of seeing him and having that kind of atmosphere with those people who showed out tonight? 
Uh, it was fun. Uh, the playing was fun. Uh, seeing JC, just, I don't know, seeing the teammates on the sideline, they always support us, you know, no matter what, whether we're losing or winning. So um, just being able to have fun with them and, and get a win in front of the home crowd is great. Have a blessed night, everyone.